Mate, that's a lovely bass. How big? I reckon maybe six, yeah. maybe seven. Five, six. Well, good afternoon and welcome back to another fishing adventure. We are on one of my local beaches, very close to home, and I am here to answer one question that a lot of people are asking me at the moment. Where do I fish at night? Well, I'm not just gonna go here, or over there, or over there. That's for you guys to work out. But what I am gonna do is kind of point you in the right direction. Obviously, this ain't gospel. This is what I've learned, what I do when I go out fishing in these kind of areas. Night fishing is simple. Go to the places where you are confident with catching bass in the day. Obviously with a little twist. I tend to fish different places at night where I tend to fish in the day. Obviously some places I fish in the day and I fish them at night, but I tend to fish it simple. Very easy when it comes to night fishing. A beach, an area where the bass are gonna come in to feed. Obviously where there's loads of food, and obviously where there are places to ambush their prey under the darkness. Perfect, sounds nice and easy, and trust me, it is easy. I am no professional at fishing at night. There are some really top fishermen out there that I have it down to an absolute T. I would say, you know, I've had some really good success doing it, but I am no professional. I just enjoy my fishing, I enjoy going out at night, there's something a little bit different about it, a little bit spooky sometimes, but it's great fun and when you get your first fish, it's just so addictive. So, let's go have a little look at this place where I'm gonna be fishing. Now, this is one of the local beaches in my area. Wouldn't say it's much of a beach. There is sand, but in and around this area, we've got big boulders, big rocks, big weed patches, and of course, tide will flow. Now, Jersey is a little bit different. We have some really big tides. Today's like 11 meters. So the water is gonna actually stream into these gullies and fill them up rather quickly. So always be careful and know where you're fishing. Rule one. Now, this is a place where I do do a little bit of fishing in the day, but I always find that it comes alive at night. And the reason for that is I always find that the bigger fish or more fish move into these shallower areas under the night sky. Now, whether that's with a full moon, a new moon, a dark night, a cloudy night, a bright night, that's really just up to you to find out because fish behavior is totally different all the time. But on these particular areas, I like to fish them darkness, total darkness. Reason is I just feel the fish coming closer. And I've had fish right up to my knees, coming into these areas, mooching about, looking for food, and of course catching them. Perfect little area. Now, we've just got a load of sand around us. A few rocks here and there, places where little minnows and crabs are gonna be, but big boulders in places. I always find boulders are a really good place, especially when the tide is dropping out. Bass like to sit around these. Don't get me wrong, bass might sit on them when the tide's coming up, but I always find big boulders like this, when the tide's washing out, the fish tend to stick around these. Now, I'm not saying the bass are gonna be here every time, because they're not, but they might be on certain tides and certain situations. Also, these areas where all these rocks are, these hold worms. Now, if you were to lift a load of these up and over, you're gonna find maybe some lugworm, some red cat, little crabs there, tiny little crab. Loads of crustaceans, loads of food. The bass are up here eating this stuff. Doesn't mean they're not gonna take a lure, because they are. So all of these areas where the rocks and that have food on them. Food means fish. Again, 
nice big boulder just to put into perspective how high that is that's like two or three foot more rocky patches we've got nice little sandy areas around here with just some big rocky patches places which hold crabs food fish and of course bass and then my favorite <sighs> this stuff bubble weed now on the floor it looks like nothing but when the tide's up and this is all sitting a foot two foot three foot above the floor the bass absolutely love this now here's a prime example of the bubble weed if you think this stuff is lying low that's going to be super high and it's absolutely everywhere this stuff a perfect place this actually sits on the edge of some rocks then you've got all of this bracky bubble weed sitting on it a perfect place for a bass to ambush on one side you've got a sandbar then you've got bubble then you've got the rock perfect place for the bass to be hiding pushing through with the tide look out for places like this just so you can see that a little bit better big rock wall big patch of bubble and a nice sandbar really good place and the tide's going to move in or move out and this is going to be a perfect place for the ambush bass would be sweeping along this rock looking for bait hiding in this area and anything that moves through bang fish on and on the same side of this gully again huge patch of bubble big rock sand gully now it's up to you guys to find out what way the water moves in it might be that the water moves in from behind this rock but i know the water moves through so when the tide's at its highest point up there i know the water's gonna have to pass through back here perfect place for waiting fish now it might be totally different where you're fishing in the uk or somewhere in the world i don't know really know what everyone's fishing for that's watching this but this is a prime example of a really nice place where bait will hold obviously on the sides in the margins water will flow and hopefully the fish will hold perfect so that's the beach what i'm looking for boulders bubble weed rocks tidal flow and then obviously come back at night and do your thing now the next biggest question i get asked is what lure are you using what lure did you catch that bass on what lure should i be using at night well there's not really an answer to that you could catch a bass on anything at night but everyone has their own crowd favorite everyone has a lure they go to and everyone has you know that one lure that's caught them all of their good fish and i'm the same first of all this beast doesn't have to be this color but this is an evo bass lounce i also have the saber which is a paddle tail but in these kind of areas where it's very shallow very weedy very rocky i would tend to use this and i would use it with a weedless hook very easy now this is a twist lock hook it's got a little twisty coil that sits on the front of the hook goes into the front of your lure and then you just hook it very simple obviously if it's blowing a hoolie it's very windy that is going to cast like a kite but you can see here it's nice and clear and chill a little bit of flow that is going to imitate a sand eel maybe a little pollock maybe a mackerel depending on the color of what you're using but that is one of my go-to lures for fishing these kind of situations and my other go-to lure is this little gem. Again, you might have something that looks very similar. This is a 15 gram happy eel. Now, it's very similar to a Sandy Andy, which works just as well. But this is the 15 gram version. I also have a 10 gram and a 20 gram, depending on the depth. Out there, it's like a foot of water. That's just about gonna be capable, but it's probably gonna hit the rocks and you're probably gonna get snagged and get caught. So just have a little think about it. If you're in two or three foot of water, 
and you're banging out a 25 gram you know lure more than likely that's going to hit the bottom before you can flip your bail arm over you're going to get stuck you're going to lose gear you're going to get disheartened you're going to go home and you're going to say you hate fishing use something for the situation now when it gets two or three foot deep maybe a little bit more this is the lure think about that bubble weed that was in that area that's going to be a couple of foot off the bottom and this thing's just going to be swimming along slow retrieval just coming through waiting for that bass to pounce on it or that bass to follow up and another little lure i like to use at night depending on the depth is a little shallow runner this thing goes about a foot under the surface at the max really depending on how quick you yank it this is a saxton 110 yeah not expensive lure maybe about a tenner but really good this one's the color of a bait fish that's around at the moment like a little spratty kind of herring kind of thing i like this and i've caught loads of bass on it at night you don't have to go and get this particular lure you know it really depends on where you're fishing again the depth blah 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 but just enjoy your fishing and throw what you want but i like to have a little shallow runner a weedless and a paddle tail let's get out there what i do recommend is you come to a place in the day before you fish it at night don't just think oh that place looks good we'll go there at night if you're not an experienced angler and you're new to it fish it a couple of times in the day make sure you know where the tide's going to go make sure you know when you're not going to get cut off and give it a go so i'm going to put myself in your shoes and we're going to have a little thick i'm going to start with a little ykr because i know it's about three foot deep now i'm just going to fish in and around the rocks with a steady retrieve rod tip high when it's shallow steady retrieve with the jig head just keep it moving because once you do stop it will drop also it's nice to have a mental picture of what's around in the area in front of me i've got four or five submerged boulders and some heads that are sticking out i'm going to be fishing around them remember going back to what i was saying before just had a bite just had a little small bite remember what i said going back to you before submerged boulders jap weed all of that kind of stuff that's what we're targeting when we're out here now all right let's go for a little walk because the tide's starting to fill in now and i want to show you what exactly the bubble weed looks like when the tide comes up Now, if that doesn't give you the bass bumps or the bass horn, I don't know what does. So if you are coming out and looking for a place to fish, it doesn't even have to be at night. I love this stuff at night. Look for this area, bubble, bubble rack. These are places where bass will hold. Now I'm not saying there's always gonna be bass in these particular areas, depending on where you fish, but on some point of the tides, maybe whether it's coming in, when it's going out at the top of the tide, I'm telling you there's gonna be fish in these areas. Now, if you can take something from this little video, maybe a snippet of an area, maybe something that's on the deck of your local beach, like weed, bubble, rocks, maybe you're gonna go and have a look at it at low tide, then slowly, or hopefully quickly, you're gonna reap the rewards of good fishing. Something that we have done this year, and over many years, but especially in the last couple of weeks. Fish after fish after fish after fish. Good fish, solid fish, beastie fish. Friends catching fish with myself, all of us smiling, all of us having fun. That's what it's about when it comes to this type of fishing. Getting friends out there in the darkness, something new to them, and letting them enjoy the fruits of hard labour and quality fishing. The best bit about this for me though is watching the fish swim off into the darkness. Don't get me wrong, I keep a bass here and there. I love bass. One of my favourites on the barbecue. 
but also I put 90% of my fish back. I've got nothing against people that keep bass all the time. It's really up to the angler. The watching them is very special, especially at night. Move straight back into the darkness, back on the hunt. It's special. And this is what takes me back to the rocks over and over again. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. Really does go to show that the fishing can be really good at night, really explosive. Doesn't mean that it's gonna be explosive every night. Doesn't mean that you're gonna catch fish every night. But if you put those hours in and you graft and grind, put into time into some spots, you will catch fish. And I'm telling you, night fishing is explosive. Night fishing can be absolutely mental. But nighttime fishing has just added some more fishing hours into my fishing journey now before i do leave you before we were looking at this gully looking at it now you don't really see what's below if you had some polies you might see some darker areas and this shows how important it is to come and look at spots before you come and fish at them to me it just looks like there's a rock there and there's a rock there some darky patches around but i know that down sloping off that one is bubble weed sloping off that one is bubble weed and actually in front of it in this gully there's some big heads and rocks that you can't see now so spend the time on your marks go and find what's below the surface rocks bubble weed pebbles see what's underneath the rocks food wise just because there's crabs around it doesn't mean that a bass is not going to take a lure trust me a bass will take a lure even if it's just mooching around fishing for crabs Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave us a comment. If I'm doing something different to what you're doing, I wanna know because I'm always trying to live and learn. I'm not the finished article. I'm nowhere near actually. There are people out there that are much better at this shit than me. But I'm always learning and I'm always enjoying and I'm always having fun and that is the main thing for me about fishing. Big smile all the time. It doesn't matter if it's a blank. Remember if you're blank, take something from it. So just get out there enjoy your fishing and subscribe to the channel if you never watched before and you think oh i might have a bit more of that idiot do what you need to do i'm really not bothered subscribe like comment come on watch again we'll go fishing together till next time enjoy your fishing yeah boy